Oh, 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 didn't see you guys there. Okay, thanks for tuning back in to uh, The Madison Show. <clears throat> I mean, sorry, to Davro. BBT that, maybe I don't need that because the BBT is pretty hectic. You are worthy. Hi and welcome to another edition of Davro and How To Do Hair with Madison and Bridget. Hi Bridget. Hello. Into the mic please. Hello everyone. We're going to be doing a cool girl kind of rough textured hairstyle for Bridget. Um, Bridget's got pretty frizzy hair mm -hmm. and a lot of it so I want to work with something that'll give it a heavier feel. Um, so today I'm going to be using the BVT which is the body volume texture. It's a foam not a mouse or some people would call it a mousse. Um, so shake it up, pump it in your hand. Now BVT is quite strong so less is more. Um, Bridget's hair would probably do a max, she does have a lot of hair so maybe three pumps. I'm going to be a little bit cautious and go with two. Um, I feel like when using BBT, if you want to get the maximum results from it, I'd be doing it on wet hair, so I'm going to spray her hair with a little bit of water. But mixed in with that, I'm going to be using a little bit of Tame Detangler. Now the Tame Detangler is a leave-in conditioner, it's super, super light. Um, that's also going to let her hair sit softly and I'll be able to run my hands through it later. And after that, I'll be putting a tongue through it once it's dried. Um, just to give it a little twist here and there, we'll mess that up and after we mess that up I'll be throwing in a little bit of ends repair in her ends to repair them ends. It's also quite light so it's not going to do too much by pulling it down from the volume that we have in, in the roots from the BVT and then finishing off with a little bit of revive just to mess it up a teeny bit. So I'm going to start by spraying down Bridget's hair with a little bit of water, mix in with a bit of Tame Detangler just so it helps the BVT dilute through her hair and I can spread it from her roots to her mid-lengths. Lemongrass. I can smell hints of lemongrass. Oh. Um, so now I'm going to be pumping in Initially two pumps. Okay, let's start that again. And So now I'm going to be putting in some body volume texture, the BBT. Um, I'm going to shake it real good, not like a Polaroid picture because that destroys them. Um, I'm going to be doing two pumps. Two pumps of the BBT um, and starting at the roots, but I'm rubbing it in my hands first because I want it to disperse through there so it's a larger area. So I'm not just concentrating it on a specific place because it can build up. I'm going to work that through Bridget's hair. And I'm going to be a little bit wild here and do an extra pump. Don't tell anyone. For all of you watching at home, you could probably try this. But ask permission from your parents first. Now we're going to blow dry Bridget's hair quite loosely. I'm going to use a brush, um, but initially I want to kind of get the natural volume in there that has come through with the BBT. Um, so I'm going to blast dry it to start off. Fiona, favorite drink. I don't always get it, but when I want to treat myself, it's great. Don't you like Fashiona? You can't have it too much. As I get to this section here, you can already see the plumpness that the BBT has put in there. A little bit of volume through the roots to the mid lengths. That's what we want. So we're just going to keep drying this. What we've already done and achieved just from blow drying it with a round brush, it's already a pretty good sign 
of what the BVT has done in, th in terms of giving it body, volume and texture. I still want to go through this and tong it a teensy little bit just for a tiny bit more of definition. Um, I mean the tame to tangle that I put in there I wouldn't be able to run my hands through Bridget's hair as well if there wasn't a type of conditioner in there because the BVT does add a lot of texture so I'm happy I went that route. Mix that kind of product cocktail um, but before I do anything else I'm going to go through with a light tong and then I'll probably finish off with a teensy bit of ends repair and maybe dry shampoo the roots with some revive. So what I'm going to do now is tong Bridget's hair. I'm just going to go through and do some fine pieces just for a little bit more definition but I don't want to be too neat about this because I do want to keep the texture in the hair and keep it kind of rough, loose, cool girl, sexy, but not too sexy. The good thing about BVT, um, unlike a lot of other foams and mousses, it's not sticky once it's dried in, so I wouldn't be able to move my tongue so lightly and glide it across the hair if I'd used a harsher product, but you have to make sure that it's dried into the hair Oh, hi there. Still on camera, everyone's gone. It's just us. Ooh, do some weird shit. I've got a hot tongue, can't do that. Danger, danger. See the way it's gliding? It's nice. That's also partially the tame to tangler. Just that small bit of conditioning that I left in the hair allows me to move across without getting any snags or getting the hair stuck on a certain part of the tongue for too long. Now, I think I've done a pretty good job here. What would you say at home? It's time to rough it up. I'm gonna be going through the rest of Bridget's hair just on the ends with a treatment, ends repair. It's really, really lightweight. It's also strengthening, so it's a leave-in, but you can use it to style hair as well. It's a little secret. Um, because it's lightweight, it's really good in blonde, fine hair. It's good in thick, brunettes, it's pretty much good in everyone's hair. It doesn't really weigh it down, it just makes it feel soft and luxurious. You can go higher than the ends, even though it's called ends repair, um, which is what I'm doing today. But I feel safe in the fact that I've used the BVT at the roots and mid lengths, that it's going to keep body there but I'm also going to go through a little bit after with some dry shampoo just to mess it up. So I've just put the ends repair through Bridget's hair. It runs. Um, I'm going to do something a little bit sneaky and put in a product that I didn't say I was going to use but for me her hair actually looks really beautiful and luxurious and I don't want to keep it that way. I want to rough it up a little bit and keep it a little bit cooler. So I'm going to put a little bit of clay in her hair. Um, the texture clay is really, really good for short hair. Um, a lot of the time on set, I'd be using this or on location, just to give it some hold. I'm going to put this in at the roots. Um, with the texture clay, it goes in and it starts off wet and then the more you use it, it mat mattifies up a little bit and gets a little bit harder. So there is hold in that. So I'm just going to get in there. Just at the roots though, for a bit of grit. Now I'm gonna be going in as a final product and using a little bit of Revive on Bridget's hair for a final tousled look. And there, I'd say we have it. You can see, just even from the root area, how much more body her hair has from the BBT. Thanks for watching.